What is up everybody? This is Lyle, No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. Coming at you with part number two of my two year review with Prime. We're gonna be going over the orientation process. Now this is gonna be a little bit kind of specific to Salt Lake City since that's where I did it. Some things are gonna be common to some of the other places, but a lot of it's not. Now if you're watching these videos, we're gonna start getting a little bit deeper you know, right now I'm just kind of trying to document my entire process through Prime, but as we go forward, some of this stuff is going to become a little bit more rel relative to day-to-day uh, -day life uh, in regards to my experience with Prime. Uh, so anyway, let's talk about the orientation. All right, so I did my orientation, Salt Lake City, and... Uh, if I was to compare the orientation at Salt Lake City to to Springfield, I'm not too familiar with what goes on at Pittston, but I would say that the orientation at Salt Lake City might be a little bit more casual, but a little bit more strict as well. And what I mean by that is it's a little bit more casual uh, to where I think the environment just in Salt Lake City is just a little bit more laid back than uh, Springfield, but it's a little bit more strict because, you know, every morning, everybody, it's like a cattle call. Everybody gets together, goes everywhere at one time, whereas in Springfield, it's kind of like they give you a, you know, a set of tasks that need to be completed, and you complete them by a certain amount of time, and you could be at your room, you could be wherever, doing all this stuff at your own pace. It's not like that at Salt Lake City. So, uh, in terms of where you're going to be staying uh, during your time in orientation, there is a hotel in Salt Lake City. It's Ramada Inn. And I would say this might be about the weakest part of the, the orientation process. You know, the hotel... You might want to consider it to be rustic or something like that. Lived in, you know. But listen, it's a free room. You know what I'm saying? And if you compare this to some of the horror stories that I've heard at like uh, CRST for sure, I've heard some horror stories. Uh, and I'm not sure if CR England. But anyway, it's uh, you're going to be at the Ramada Inn. When I went through, you had roommates. Now, kind of the problem with it was everything was kind of staggered. So with my period in Salt Lake City, well, you know, let's just talk about the orientation. So you're going to get, you know, when I went there, you were with a roommate. Now, that roommate might leave during the time that you're there, and then somebody else might come in. So you always kind of got that to kind of uh, think about. You know, once you get up to orientation, your first day at, at Salt Lake City, you're going to go upstairs. You're going to meet uh, the two people that handle orientation. That would be Ben and uh, Troy. Very efficient, you know what I'm saying? Very laid back. Uh, you're going to handle some of the stuff that, you know, you'd already kind of filled out during your application process. Uh, they're going to kind of walk you through a few different things. I'm really, I really don't remember exactly what's, you know, what happened there. It's been about two years. One thing I do remember is one of the tasks we had to complete were watching this, you know, watching these computer based training videos. And these are videos that you're going to be watching down the road again, which is good because some of those videos that they were playing you didn't have enough information and even know what they were talking about. So it was, all, it was like kind of going over your head. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you're going to be doing that. You're going to be uh, taking your physical. They have a couple different places out there. They usually, when I went through, the classes were a little bit bigger. So they broke the classes into uh, two separate groups. One went to some, one clinic. One went to another clinic. Now, I don't know about this Concentra stuff. Now, listen, I'm not trying to be like I'm, uh, 
I'm like, I'm above anything or anything, but these clinics right here, you know, these were the type of clinics, like, you might be sitting next to somebody that's, let's just put it this way, I'm not a fan of the service providers that they use for that, you know, it's, uh, those clinics seem to be a little bit on the less professional side than where I would, you know, tend to go. But uh, anyway, you're going to do your physical. You're going to do your drug test. Now, somebody would ask me, you know, if, if uh, Prime does urine tests, they do hair. You know, I didn't have to worry about that. But uh, when I went through, now things could always change. It was just urine tests. It was just a urine test, so you do that. Uh, when I was there, nobody got sent home because of that. Uh, you know, they're going to tighten up your paperwork. Uh, I think during that orientation class, they're going to have somebody from the tire department come and talk to you about... Man, I didn't know there was so much shit about tires, boy. But anyway, somebody's going to come and talk to you about the tires. Now, this process, this is going to be strung out over the course of about, you know, I think it was four days. So Monday, Tuesday, yeah, about four days. So during those four days, uh, you're going to be doing that. Now they're going to be, per okay, so this hotel for each of these mornings, at least when I went through, who knows what's going on with this COVID scenario going on, but, you know, they had a pretty nice little breakfast at the hotel that you could kind of get into. So, uh, they had that. Then when you went to uh, the terminal, they would order food. And I forgot where, what the name of the place that they ordered this food from. But that place was banging. So you got that food there. And then each day they would give you a ticket to go back to, uh, you know, back to the hotel uh, to, to use it there. Uh, well, basically it was a bar, so you could just order a certain amount of food or off this specific menu, and that was free, so that's good. So I've heard a lot of different companies, and you know, CRST seems to keep coming to my mind. I know somebody that had worked there, and they were like, you know, the food that they were eating was a little bit on the meager side, so uh, maybe that's good, I don't know. So anyway, that's gonna be going on uh, during this process. One of the main things they do or not main things, one of the things that they do is you fill out a survey that's trying to match you to whoever you're going to be doing your PSD, TNT training with. Now, I'm not sure how good that test really was, but uh, some of the questions didn't make sense to me, but uh, it seemed like when I got matched with my trainer... That my first trainer that was not a good match, and my second trainer, which was probably somebody they just threw me together with, ended up being a great match. So who knows about that? Uh, you're also going to be giving your man. And if I'm sweating, I'm sitting out here in South Carolina right now. Got the windows up so you don't hear these trucks idling. And I'm shoot, I'm sweating like woo. Anyway, so uh, during this, they're going to be giving you your pre-trip, so you're going to be kind of practicing that as well and you're gonna be practicing that in like the orientation room and outside on the uh down on the training pad with the particular trucks as well uh one thing i wasn't a big fan of when i kind of rolled through it was about this time so it was around march of 2019 weather wasn't all that great and we're out there trying to pre-trip trucks and it's raining and sleeting and everything and we're out there with the papers and it's disintegrating and they had like an empty bay that they could have driven the truck up to and just parked it right on inside it would have made things a little bit more efficient you know i don't know if that was like some military type shit to kind of get you in the right mode or what but to me it just seemed a little bit less than efficient to just have people sitting standing outside for no reason at all uh, another thing they're going to do, which I'm not a fan of, and I know the Prime is sensitive about this, 
But listen, I'm an old school dude. You know, I was born in 1968. You know, we have video games when we were growing up. But you know what? You had to get on your bike and drive to the, you know, drive to the arcade or ride to the arcade. Or, you know, you know, you might have been playing Atari or something like that. But we really weren't in video games back then. And this simulator, that is that right there is something that I am not a huge fan of. So you're going to be uh, getting some simulator training, which, you know, I'm going to end up ha I'm gonna be back at Springfield in about another week to do my safety class. And I'm going to have to hit that simulator again. And I'm not looking forward to that. So you're going to be doing your simulator training uh, during orientation. You know, the hours of, uh, you know, see, when I was thinking, I was going out there, I was thinking, you know what? Okay, we're going to go out there. We're going to work for five days. We're going to get the weekends off. Er, nope. That shit, seven days straight. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to be working from, you know, you're going to get there about seven in the morning. You're going to leave anywhere between three to four thirty on a regular day. And maybe on the weekends, you might get out of there between two thirty and three, something like that. But, uh, as far as my experience with the training staff, you know, very efficient. You're going to be getting your prime ID badges made there. Um, just a whole bunch of different classes and things like that. A lot of stuff that's, that's going to go over your head until you really know about trucking. But as far as, you know, I haven't been to other companies' orientations or anything like that. As far as I'm concerned, it uh, was very professional yet very relaxed. You know, at the time, I'd been watching all these videos about you know, prime orientation, stuff like that. And a lot of the people that were putting up these videos were coming out of the Springfield terminal. And you'd hear about, you know, people getting sent home and this and that. And, you know, I just don't, I, I didn't really get that feeling. And one thing that I did get from that, which is, I think even more than the Springfield terminal is since we were all together all the time, we all, it was a bigger bond, I think, between us and the people that were in Springfield and because a lot of us ended up doing our PSD training on the pad in Salt Lake City which is going to be part of another video you know we became bonded with people that were kind of in class you know in a class before us and a class behind us so uh, good relationships built out of that some of us are still with Prime some of us aren't but uh, great experience so as far as my experience with Prime's, um, oh, and they do pay you, which is basically a loan. You have to pay it back. Uh, it's like $200 a week after you get through orientation. But that, that's going to be part of the PSD training. So I, maybe that's jumping the gun on this a little bit because they're going to be feeding you during that first, you know, during that orientation phase. So anyway, for, scratch that. The $200 is part of the PSD uh, phase but listen if you're going to Salt Lake City and you're looking to do an orientation the staff is very professional from top to bottom security uh, you know you got Ben and Troy that are you know doing whatever they do and then you got the training staff there highly recommended as a matter of fact I didn't do my training in Springfield, but I, I would find it hard match that uh, Springfield could provide provide the same level of, uh, what should I call it? The same level of attention. I'm, I don't really know what I want to want to call it, but I never felt like I was a number at uh, Salt Lake City where I think you can kind of get lost in the mix possibly a little bit in Springfield but uh, listen it's about the ink baby it doesn't matter where you do orientation it could be Pittston it could be Springfield it could be Salt Lake City this is just your first step to becoming a member of the team so listen it's about prime ink I give the orientation you know I'm gonna give it about a 
I'm gonna have to give it a 4.25 out of five. We're gonna hit it a little bit because of the hotel room. Uh, we're gonna give it the major hit because of the hotel room. And then we're just gonna take a little bit of a nick off of it for having to pre-trip out in the elements. But listen, these next videos are gonna start getting a little bit more serious as we go along. Next video is going to be about uh, PSD training and uh, after that TNT and then we're gonna keep going on from there. If you'd like to see any of my other videos, listen, they're gonna be linked in a playlist. Uh, just go to my channel and look for Prime Inc. Reviews. And in that review, I'll be adding, or in that playlist, I'll be adding videos every, uh, adding each video to that playlist. So we're gonna go all the way from the very beginning to where I'm at now. And I'm trying to do a video on everything that's touched me at Prime. Anyway. Like, thank you guys for stopping by No Hippie Trucking Transportation. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.